Hey everyone, it has been uh, several weeks since I have had the watch. I actually had an opportunity to fly with the watch yesterday. Um, I was uh, trying out uh, different settings, uh, especially with regards to uh, recording uh, the flight track uh, with the watch. So if you have seen my previous video, uh, I have complained that uh, the altimeter um, was generally off several hundreds of feet uh, during the flight so I did a little bit of research um, I figured out that there are a couple of things going on with that one relating to the calibration of the altimeter on the watch another one is the, the data recording Garmin Connect app is smoothening the altimeter data resulted in not showing uh, correct altitude decided to test the watch uh, so I went for a short flight and uh, so I was trying different settings so mainly my settings were I was trying to turn the auto calibration on and off and also trying to see if there is an issue with the type of recording that's being done on the watch uh, the altimeter auto calibration uh, this is something that you can uh, set under settings consistent accessories elevation and your auto calibration so this is where you can uh, set if you wanted to calibrate continuously or start or turn it off before we get into the details of the testing I just wanted to let you know something so my watch is currently running at 3.00 software version and 2.2 uh, GPS version and 2.1 sensor hub version so here is the list of my activities you can see that I have recorded several flights on the watch uh, let's go through each of them to see what it did for the settings for the first flight was I left the recording on the smart mode and also set uh, continuous calibration on the watch so let's look at the data so I'm primarily concerned about the altimeter or altitude data on the watch here you can see the altimeter data when I superimpose ground speed you can actually see roughly when I took off and roughly when I landed so the airport elevation is roughly 1000 feet uh, the watch was set to auto fly mode so it started capturing the, uh, my takeoff and started recording uh, roughly around 1090 feet i have flown up to 4300 feet but the watch only sh seemed to show uh, roughly 3900 feet land at a different airport uh, the airport elevation at that field is 1200 feet roughly uh, so you can see that I landed somewhere around there so that seems to be consistent but if you see when I continue to roll down the runway you can see the altimeter kept on dropping I suspect that um, the issue might be the or con the continuous calibration of the watch um, so for the next test what I did was I selected the auto calibration to calibrate at the beginning of the activity so here I did a loop around the traffic pattern uh, the airport elevation is roughly 1200 feet seems to do an okay and I reached at least 2200 feet but it's not showing so here when I landed the altitude seems to be off by 400 feet the next step what I did was I turned off the auto calibration completely off you can see that the altitude graph is very similar to the one uh, which was shown before for the next one i changed the gps data recording format setting to uh, one second recording and also i selected continuous calibration of the altimeter so you can again see that our altitude graph seems to be more or less similar to what it was before so for the next setting still under the smart mode uh, but I turned the auto calibration off completely. So before I started the flight, I, I calibrated the watch. Seems to be showing the correct uh, altitude uh, before the takeoff, but it did not seem to be doing all that good. So you can see roughly it's not all that different from uh, one before. So for the last one, so I changed the settings back to the smart recording mode and also I selected the um, the altimeter or the altitude source as GPS as opposed to the pressure altimeter. 
So this is something you can do under the fly settings. Okay, so now you can see that I took off. Uh, my altitude seems to be roughly okay, correct. And I, I was staying at roughly 3,500 feet, which is what it seems to be showing. And when I landed, so I landed right somewhere around there. So at the airport, the destination airport altitude was uh, roughly 1,000 feet. So when I touched down, it's what it seems to be showing. And also altitude seems to be more or less consistent throughout the rest of the taxi. So it appears that based on my uh, testing for now, uh, using the GPS altimeter uh, seemed to yield much better results compared to any other settings that I've tried. Um, if you have tried different settings and if you get different results, please post that on, uh, in the comments. Uh, so like I said, uh, this is uh, I'm running three, uh, the software version 3.0. If uh, if and when Garmin fixes these issues, um, I'll hopefully give it a try and uh, we'll see what happens. And uh, if Garmin, if you are listening, please send us beta software so that we can actually test some of these features uh, before you release the final version uh, for the D2 watch. I know you do that for the Phoenix series and for the Forerunner series and other watches, but for the D2 watch, uh, I am more than happy to uh, test the features. If you have any comments, uh, please uh, please let me know.